So in the first part, we set up the header of our Amazon app. In this video, we'll concentrate on the content view. I did notice a lot of people are having issues with the UI related to the Android app. So I thought I'll just develop them simultaneously, fixing the errors as they come along. First thing we'll do is we'll start by fixing this issue with the header. So in our home screen, come to the top here and import platform and status bar from React Native. Next, come to our styles and we'll create a style here called Android header. Inside that, I'll paste in a style. Basically what it does is it says platform.select, selects the Android platform and applies a padding top, which is equal to the status bar height so that this moves down. Next, come to our header. Let's wrap these into an array so that we can add our style. Put in a comma here and I styles dot Android header. As you can see, the icons have now nicely moved to the center. Now it's time to add a swiper here below this. So I forgot to tell you to install the React Native Swiper. We can do that right now. Open up the terminal and type in npm install React Native Swiper. Once that's done, you can continue with the further video in which we import the React Native Swiper. So for that, let's import our Swiper. So we'll say import Swiper from React Native Swiper. Come down here in our content. Below this view, let's put in the swiper. So we say style is equal to height of 100. And also inside the swiper, we want three images. So let's put in three views with a flex of one. And inside that, we'll put in images. I've already got three images in my assets folder. You can take any three images that you want. Before we put the image, let's import it here. So let's say image from React Native. Come down here, we need an image of source equal to and require the image. It's in my assets folder. Inside that I should be having three images, but I only have two swiper images. So I'll just duplicate one of them. Let's call it swiper two. So there we have the image, but it's obviously not styled the way we want it to. So let's add some styles to the image. First thing we need is a flex of one, height of null, and width of null and a resize mode of contain. So there we're getting our first image. Let's just copy this image, paste it in here. And I'll just name the second one swiper three and let the last one be swiper two only. Now we want this swiper to be playing automatically. For that React Native Swiper has a proc called autoplay and we'll just set that to true. And there we can see our swiper is working. Now we need to add the card item here at the bottom, which holds our recommendations. For that, let's import in card here at the top. So we need card, card item. Now come down here below our swiper. So card. Inside that, let's put in a card item. And native base has a property called header here. So let's put in header. This will be the text on top. So let's put in a text. And the text will be your recommendations. So your recommendations are showing up. Next, below the card item, we'll create a custom item which will display our particular recommendations. So for that, let's create a new component. We'll first create a components folder inside which we'll create a recommended card item .js. Just import some boilerplate code here. Let's call that recommended card item. So inside the recommended card item, we'll import certain things from native base. So we'll import card, card item, right from native base. Let's get rid of this view here. Let's put in a card item. Inside that, let's put in a view, which has an image of style, height of 90, width of 90, and the source of the image, again from my assets folder, and we'll say recommended one. And it seems like my machine is having a bit of a hard time running two simulators. So I'll just close the Android simulator. For now, I'll just use the iOS simulator. Once we're done, I'll run it on the Android device and show you that it's working. So here in recommended card on top, let's import image in and save that out. Before we create anything more in this, let's go to the home screen and import the React component in here. So we'll say import recommended card item from components recommended card item 
come down here below the card item put in the recommended card item and there we can see our image let's pass in some props to this so we'll say item name is equal to you can heal your life item creator is equal to Louis Hay. item price is equal to let's put in ten dollars savings is equal to 2.5 and image URI is equal to let's require it from the assets folder we'll get the first image which is recommended one and let's also pass in a rating which is equal to five let's save that and use these props here let's get rid of the image here and in the source let's put in this dot props dot image URI and there we can see the image is still there below the view let's put in a right component here and inside this let's put in the name of the item so let's put a text and we'll say this dot props dot item name and below that we'll put in the item creator's name so we'll say text this dot props dot item creator and let's just style this so to the right we'll give a flex of one so that it takes up all the remaining place give it an align items of flex star so that it comes to the left give it a height of 90 and a padding horizontal of 20. Next we'll style the item creator by giving it a gray color and reducing the font size to 11. That looks much better. We'll also put in another text which has the item price. So we'll say this dot props dot item price. And let's style this as well. So we'll say font size of 14, font weight of bold and a nice red color. That looks like just what we want. The last thing we need to add is the savings. So let's put another text, which has another text inside it. First one will say, you save. And in the next one we'll put in this.props.saving. And since we didn't pass in the dollar sign there, we'll put in the dollar here and save that. So let's style you save over here. So let's give it a style color of gray again font weight of 300 and a font size of 11 and the 300 should be in quotes that looks much better let's space it out by putting a space in here and now we just need to put in the star rating so for that let's import the star rating component we'll say import star rating from react native star rating we've already installed that in the beginning if you remember and here We'll just say star rating, close that out, and we need to pass in some props. First we'll say disabled is equal to true, because we don't want the user to be setting the stars. We'll say max stars is equal to 5, rating is equal to this dot props dot rating. We'll put in a star size as 12, and we'll put in a full star color of orange. So that when the stars are full it shows orange and also when it's empty we'll leave it as orange is equal to orange and there you can see we're getting our star as well so our component is ready it's just that i need to change this width to 60 because that's what we want and now we can come back to the home screen and duplicate this and as you can see we've got three items let's just change these images and there are images i've also updated before we change this other content, I'll just come here, style the header a little bit. So we'll say style is equal to, we'll give it a border bottom width of one and a border bottom color of a nice gray. Then we're getting a line and also to the card, let's add a style which gives it a margin. So with this style, margin left of five and a margin right of five. So the card is nicely spaced from the edges. We can just make the second one Uncharted 4, the creator will put in Sony, price will put in 19.99, savings will put in 17, and star rating will have to be 5. For UFC, we'll put in EA UFC 3. In creator, we'll put in EA Sports. In the price, let's make that 44, and savings will be 6, with a rating of 3. So their components are nicely updated. I just tested this out on my Samsung S8 Plus and it looks exactly the same. What we're left with is one more item at the bottom. I'll show you how to create that. 
and then we'll modify our draw navigator on the side so that it opens on pressing this button and that list looks like the way we want it to look. Thank you once again for watching. I hope you guys like this. Please like and subscribe.